Today it's time for F123 Breaking Point Chapter 2. Let's dive into the action and see how the story plays out. Thanks to the EA Creator Network for giving me early access to this preview build to show you guys how F123 plays. And I'm giving away a copy of F123, so if you want to win, like, subscribe and comment why you should win the game. Alright, let's go to the next chapter. Exciting stuff, exciting stuff. The Canadian Grand Prix six weeks later. Chapter 2. Connor Sports Maiden Season continues to be married by inconsistency, but team principal Andre O'Connor remains hopeful that their luck will start to change as the paddock heads to Montreal. <laughs> Let's hope we get some luck in this race. There we are. Oh, this looks cool. Hey boss, got a couple of minutes. Local media, with this being their home circuit, Stroll and Latifi have been all over the local media this weekend. One particular outlet appeared bent on using our recent struggles to pump up their expectations of home drivers. They indicated that Connorsport were easy fodder for the Canadian pair and that our drivers shouldn't put much up to competition. Wow. This will affect the bonus objective in the upcoming race. Okay, so this decision changes how the race will go. So are we going to show some confidence or are we going to ignore it? It will mean runs is we have our goals and we know what level of performance we expect from our drivers. We cannot lose from Latifi, of course. Come on, we are confident. Let's show them. <laughs> We have another decision to make here. Devon was on a popular streamer's channel earlier this week and promised uh, a behind the scenes tour of our factory for next Thursday. This clashes with our scheduled team building days for the engineers back at the factory. Normally I would say we don't let Devon's flights of fancy interfere with our plans, but that video has received a lot of views. The streamer has contacted us to confirm the tour. What course of action would you like to take? Mm. We have to reschedule the team building and let our tour go ahead. We can't put the toothpaste back in the tube now. Neutral, cancel the team building and let the tour go ahead. But Devon is getting in front of that camera and leading the tour. He promise, he delivers. Devon doesn't run this team even t if he thinks he does. The team building goes ahead, cancel the tour. Ooh. I think if we just reschedule the team building and have the tour, that's a win-win for everybody, right? We cannot cancel the team building. That's absolutely a no-go. And we cannot cancel the tour. So I think we have to go for this one. Local media improved. Oh, Devon, the performance is not nice, but oh well. We'll take that. What else is new? Continuing car troubles at Connor Sport. The new team left spinning its wheels. Oops. Andre O'Connor, CEO, owner, team principal. Oh, and we got a call from Devon coming in. Let's accept Andreo. it. Andreo. Uh, last minute strategy changes you sent over. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I just want to make it clear. Whatever happens out there today, I get pit priority. Yeah. What? Pit priority? Well, we'll see how the race develops. If you need priority, you'll get it. But I can't okay. go into the race with that on the table. Nah. Look, 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 look. We all know Jackson's not pulling away. <laughs> he is so sneaky. I hate people like this. Like, ooh. Don't be a snake. Don't do that. Give Aiden some space. Be nice like Aiden. It's about everyone pulling together. And work as a team. Exactly. Of course. Wow. I don't like Devon. But it's nice for the story. <laughs> Andre O'Connor, CEO, owner, team, principal. Just who is the man behind this team? You can get to know him. The Wolf Champions. Stroll the TV. Going for glory. <laughs> okay, let's tune in to the social media tab now. David Coulthard again. I'm telling you, Connor Sport have played a blinder pairing Butler and Jackson. If they can pull together. Yep, Devin Butler real. He's even tweeting. Oh, and we have break once again. I've got everything crossed for Connor Sport. So much potential. They just need to deliver. Okay, we're getting high hopes. Natalie Pinkman as well. Jamie Broadbent. Hey, even with no world champions in their team, I still reckon one of the Connor Sport lads bins it into the Wall of Champions. <laughs> This is really a Jimmy tweet. This is really a Jimmy tweet. And we have Dave Gaming. What are the odds Connor Sport are going to simulate 
the industrial revolution with their car today. Poof. <laughs> okay. Well, we haven't seen our uh, social media yet, so we have to wait for that. But first, let's do our emails. Kasper Ackerman, Andreo. I just read the interview. Pa -pa -pa -pa. Well, best luck, my friend. Thank you, thank you. Another brief from Davidoff Butler. Mm-hmm. Very interesting. Not. And Linda asked about a flight um, out of Japan business class, of course. And we got a weekend preview from Mark. Hey boss, when it comes to Canada, my main advice. They can probably carry more speed in some of these corners than they expect. But not too greedy with cutting. Okay, and we have the drivers here, Max, Sergio, Perez, one, two, three, Aiden and P15. All right, all right. Let's go to the race then. Canadian Grand Prix mid-race, chapter two. With several laps remaining, Aiden Jackson pushes on as he hopes to secure some much needed points for Connor Sport. Let's see if we can secure some points in the bag for the team. There we go. Uh oh, somebody's coming out of the pit lane. Butler and Jackson side by side. This would have been a lot oh my Jackson god. Just let him go. He's just not giving him an inch. They are struggling like they Whoa. Still will to will. Almost They're not touching well though. As we head down the straight towards the next chicane. Oh my god. Nothing to separate either car. Send and it. Oh. And now Jackson no. off the track. Big crash. I don't know if they have damage, but they I lost some positions. Oh, Butler is damaged. Oops. Totally as well. But yeah, that was a bit his fault with the big exit. Like, come on, give, give each other some space. But now Aiden is getting dirty too. Reclaim P13 before the end of the race. Okay, calm yourself down. We'll look at it in the debrief later. But right now, I want you to go and get those places back. Come on, let's go. Okay, we are in P17. We need to get Alex Albon in P13. Let's see if we can do it. And bonus is finish ahead of Straw Natifi. We said that. I don't know where they are driving though. Okay, let's try to get Schumacher on the main straight here or already in this corner. Well, here is Latifi. That will be possible, but I don't know where Stroll is driving. We got DRS opening the wing. Seven tenths to Latifi. We have six laps left. Okay, let's use the overtake. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. We almost didn't make the corner there, but we got it. Okay, Ocon. This is always the place where we get our overtakes done. But this time it was a bit more clean. Not absolutely sending it and not making the corner, but we made it. Next target is Alex Albon. That's uh, our main goal, but we also need to get Stroll. But I still haven't seen him. Close to Alex Albon. Not in the Wall of Champions. Opening the rear wing and sending it. Alright, so far so good. So we have done the objective good back in P13. Now we have... On Leclerc. Okay, oh, out of this race. Leclerc is out of the race. Of course. <laughs> How is it possible? Yellow Ferrari. Flag. Yellow flag. And there he is. Okay, clear. Now we need to get Norris and Zoe. And it looks like Stroll's ahead of them. Well, hello there, Lando and Zoe. And I can see Stroll now too. We have a couple of laps okay, left. Push, push. Let's make it happen. Come on. Can we get Lando already here? In the hairpin. Yeah. Sure, looks like it. Now on to Zoe. That's an easy pass. Because he has no DRS. So we're just flying past him. And that's our next target. Stroll ahead of us. Two okay, more laps to go. 10. We are in the top 10. Yes, sir. Can we get him here? 
Hello, boy. Ooh. We need our front wing. He's defending the inside line. We're putting pressure on him. Let's see if he makes a mistake. Okay, can we get him with overtake here? Yeah. Opening the wing now. Yuki also has DRS. Uh oh, this is so close. But we made it. Ooh. Okay, let's see if we can chase Yuki as well. To finish this race like we should. Ooh. We're getting closer and closer. Another snap there. Okay, let's straight here. Let's use all the ERS. Yeah, this is an easy one. Yuki is nowhere to be found. Carlos Sainz wins the race. All right. And we are going to finish in P8. Let's get it. <laughs> Lovely. Bonus objective, finishing position, chaos in Canada. That's not good. <coughs> but we uh, got a lot of bonuses. That's, that's not what we want. It was entertaining, of course, but definitely entertaining. Connor Sport, of course, of course. Jackson, well, he'd have enjoyed the result. He did well to recover. He did do well to recover. Good recovery but, from you know, Aiden, huh? Want to see two cars if, if you're the team boss, seeing two cars hit each other is rule number one. Don't hit your team. Yeah, don't hit your teammate. We know, we know. Sorry, Devon is going to be mad. Okay, now post race. Nothing ever changes. Jackson and Butler's rivalry from the past two seasons seems to be alive and well. Even when they're teammates, their unwillingness to cede positions to each other at the Canadian Grand Prix is a bad look for Connor Sport. Yeah, this wasn't right. Uh, Butler kind of like started it, but Aiden, uh, yeah ruin it <laughs> that was breaking point chapter two hopefully you enjoyed it make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss chapter three